So hi guys, <coughs> welcome back to our painting of uh, Kane Zero miniature. My name is Piotr and today we're going to uh, paint the armor of uh, our uh, journeyman Warcaster. Uh, I believe that we will start with his armor plate uh, on the breast. Yeah, and this little thing, I don't know why it's there, but it's there. And after we finish painting it, we will give it a shade and later um, we will take care of these plates. We will try to highlight them a bit with uh, some mix of uh, Signal Blue uh, base coat and Signal Blue yeah, highlight um, colors, uh, as well as these two plates. And when the shade dries, we will highlight this, uh, this panel for sure. Uh, hopefully we will also uh, finish doing the pistols with a little bit of iron breaker and rune funk steel from uh, from GW. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we'll be using Balthazar gold for the base uh, of the armor. So let's shake the can or the pot. Be precise. I put some of it, not much, on the wet palette. Add some water so we get a nice flow. Paint. Grab your preferred brush and let's do this. We can be extra careful while painting uh, the parts adjacent to the coat, as I mentioned before, so we don't have to clean up our mistakes later. Cowboy bandana. So John Wayne. Some ninja stuff because it's easier for me to paint it this way. It's always a good idea to reposition the angle at which you are holding the miniature if you have to paint some places that are hard to reach it saves you time with the mistakes <clears throat> okay dokey so let me this part over here is left So, 
The breastplate is painted. <coughs> okay, it almost looks like a light in a shining armor. And we all know that he's one of them deep, deep inside of him. There are some parts that we have missed, but not many of them. Okay, so with this done, I think we can also paint these two parts of the spellstone pistols in the same color that we have used for the breastplate. Remember that we are not trying to achieve any kind of a competition level or something like that. We're just painting to get the boy done and to show that anyone can paint miniatures. With a little bit of practice. Small lines are actually quite tricky when you are trying to paint them. <clears throat> Today they were a piece of cake. Okay, so now the second pistol. Well, as you can see, I'm using an old synthetic brush it's not looking too good it's not point sharp but actually lately I tend to find these uh, what are these renaissance uh, paint brushes uh, the synthetic ones that are really cheap uh, really good for doing so much uh, work I might even risk to say that the fact that uh, that they are no longer sharp makes it sometimes easier to paint certain types of 
curves on the miniature, like for example this breastplate. <laughs> Uh, thanks to the fact that it's not point sharp, you can just do something like that and you reach every part. of the space between the coat and the armor. Almost done with the second pistol. Yes, I a few finishing touches. <clears throat> All right then. So, as you can see, uh, when it comes to his turbine uh, on the back. Uh, we will probably do this uh, part also in the, the bronze or the Balthazar gold to be precise. Uh, I am painting this uh, this color because most of my units, jacks and warcasters uh, are painted a similar way. So uh, these little uh, touches uh, help to help the army to stay co cohesive. Yeah, cohesive. Yeah, cohesive on the table uh, when it comes to the looks of of them. And actually, it's a nice touch. that provides a little bit more diversity to the miniature. It's not much, but it's not a big model. Okay, so a little bit of here and the rest will be painted. Or we can actually paint the place where you put the coal in. So the boiler probably, yeah. Also in this color. Oh, I usually do this part with the bronze gold. Too, so why not on okay. All right. So <clears throat> I believe we have painted uh, all the parts uh, that I wanted to be painted with, but as a gold as a base coat uh, on this miniature. So now we can take the shade. We'll be using our well, well not our but my favorite Agrax Earth Shade. From GW. And we should wash this guy. We want some shade. In the recesses, but without pulling. So always remember, don't take too much shade on on your paintbrush because it won't look good. You'll have spots that don't look nice. It's actually a common mistake for the beginners that I was also not aware of at the beginning to take a lot of wash on your brush and then just you know 
put it on the miniature. I believe even one company had a product uh, that <laughs> was meant to be doing an extra shading to the miniature and you just have to put the miniature in the can with the shade, take it out and presumably have a nice looking model I don't know, never tried it probably for some uh, simple tabletop quality or even basic quality that would be good but try avoiding shortcuts like this while painting unless you don't have time and you need everything painted for a tournament or something like that if you wish to try this thing out why not? it's your choice alright so now we have to wait for the wash to dry and while we do this uh, we will probably highlight the blue armor plates on the miniature because why not so we're going to so and also so as my main lecturer used to say we will use these two paints and so it's the formula P P3 signal blue uh, highlight and signal blue base we will mix them in a one to one ratio for the time being and then we will add more of the uh, of the signal blue highlight to our mix uh, so to get some more definition to the give some more definition to the contrast yeah all right okay so we have a nice one to one mix of the two colors Here we need a better brush than the uh, beat down old number three Renaissance. Uh, so we'll take an S layer from Citadel. Because why not? Okay, so we want to highlight these parts that are on the upper side of the plate. some part of it on the second plate but less because it's hidden so to say from the sun still some contrast will be nice so okay what's now let's take this one so we'll do some edge on the and panels over here and some over here this part and this part I know I, I need to switch my position at which I'm sitting while painting because actually my hands are shaking again and I believe it's because of how I sit so hopefully you can see that there is more of a contrast between the shade that is left down here and the highlighted part over here 
Okay, so on this hand we also have these two small plates. So again, upper side, the highlight over here. There are two. I forgot how they are called. Those bolts or something like that. Okay, and the upper side can be highlighted. I've actually, P3 paints are really good at this because they tend to naturally mix with <coughs> with the base color. So if you Just mix the two, you should get the desired results. Alright, so this part should be highlighted, and we will do only one highlight like this because the second one it will be all about the edges all right then Well, I'm leaving his insignia rank, probably, this is what they are, because I'm going to play them yellow, soon enough, maybe even in a minute, while we'll be still waiting for the wash to dry. Okay, and let's add some more. Signal blue highlight to the mix. So that it's almost on signal blue highlight. I love these spots. They are even worse than the ones from GW. If you want to get your hands there to without doing anything that is hard work just try to open one of these spots and uh, there you go because why not okay. great pants terrible pots all I have to say about them Oh well, we can't have everything. Of course, you can buy some dropper bottles and you know, put them. inside them but I'm just lazy to do this and I won't <laughs> as simple as that alright
Okay. So we have actually highlighted the blue. And it, it's enough, in my opinion. But while we're at it, we can do his glasses with this color. Hmm, maybe not some white scar, so it's even brighter. A little bit brighter on the upper parts. And uh, more white scar to the mix. It's really bright. And now just a small dot. And the second one on the second ocular. Well, I might have gone a little bit overboard, but it's not looking bad. So don't worry. All right. So let's finish the armor, or maybe not. We'll do the stone pistols. So we'll take some iron breaker to do the highlight, the first highlight. Normally I, normally I would dry brush it to save time, but uh, let's paint it in an old fashioned way. And the old ways are the best. Shouldn't take a lot of time. So. Let's brighten up the pistols a little bit. Let's assume that Kane's pistols are really clean and thanks to that, they never jam. Because as they sunk in the cabric full metal jacket, this is his pistol, this is his gun. See the film if you haven't to catch up with the other part of the song that we won't provide you in this video.
one more place here on second one and a little bit of high note here so yes this should do it And the final highlight, a very delicate one of Wolfgang Steel. Just because we can and we want to. Do this on the most upper parts of the pistol. So something over here. So with this done, I believe we can continue our work on the armor. And I won't lie to you, I don't like painting metallics. So basically what I do with uh, this uh, Baltar's gold uh, and uh, then uh, washed by Agrax F shade. I just take Sikorax bronze and I put one highlight of it. If I have time, I really want to, and there is a lot of free space around the place that I'm painting. Um, I'm doing a uh, dry brush of Golden Griffin. It's a dry subtle paint. Some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, in this kind of mix that I'm using over here, it's one of the Citadel paint triads. Uh, it's really looking good at the end, but uh, I want to dry brush uh, near all these painted surfaces because I don't want these little sparks of gold on the coat and on the face that I will have to clean up later. It's something I don't want to do here and something you should avoid too, in my opinion, of course. So let's take Scorex Bronze, shake it up a bit. Put it on the palette, add some water. Of course, we could first mix it with Balthazar gold or do the first highlight with Balthazar so, so to bring back the base coats from the areas you don't want to be shaded. But nope, not with this guy you want. So let's just focus on painting the upper parts of the plate. The bolts over here. And 
Let's do some edge highlighting here. Probably some light would hit here. Probably, probably not. Painting metallics, whether they are true metallics or uh, or the second uh, non-metallic metal, it's tricky because metal tends to catch light in different places. It reflects what you see, so depending on what kind of effect you want to achieve, you have to paint metal in different uh, configurations, but let's don't worry about that, I believe this is, this is the end of the bandana, not a bolt of the armor, but uh, it doesn't look bad, so we don't care actually, there should be four bolts and we made four of them. This is how it works. Okay, so we won't highlight these parts of the pistol that are straight down to earth because it makes no sense. You won't see them on the battlefield anyway. So why bother? Okay, we can highlight here the ball out. Here, this part, and now this. Oh, and we still have the boiler. Let's do just a little overbrush, it's more or less a dry brush. You see, there is no paint in the recesses. is beginning to look sharp and we still have a few minutes left so we can paint the yellow on his shoulder pads so the Cygnus and his insignia and they could also be painted I don't know uh, in the bronze color, but all my insignia and signuses, almost all, are painted in yellow, except for some jacks probably. So let's do this. It's in a way, or in a manner, that the army stays cohesive when it comes to the looks on the battlefield. I'm using uh, Avalon Sunset from Citadel Paint Range for this because uh, it's a little bit darker than the Cygnus Yellow from uh, P3 and uh, I'll be using Cygnus Yellow from P3 for the highlight because it's simply brighter So, his insignia is ready, as you can see. And now, 
Nie będę w tym pamiętał. Signals. Let's do a second code of this. And we don't have the second car, second code over here. Because it looks good. So all right then, okay, it's starting to take shape because uh, I know 75% of the miniature is done uh, by now. Thanks for watching, next time we'll be working on the boiler, the pouches and the legs. Uh, please visit uh, www.warroom.pl for more great War Machine and Horts content and www.malefigurkovo.blackspot.com uh, for more War Machine Hordes painting galleries and other articles that I will tend to post from time to time. So once again guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.